Hi everyone, this is Core Conditioning with Kendall TC Fit. So for today, grab yourself some water. All you need is a mat and let's get going. I'm gonna hit play on my little timer here. Okay, let's warm you up. Standing hip flexion, standing hip flexion. Full body warm up here, driving your knees up. We're gonna start um, with more standing exercises today. So a little bit more cardio based, and then we'll bring it down to the floor for a little bit more targeted. Keep it up, four, three, two, and one. Wide stance, arms out to a T, hinging it forward. Return back up, same thing, other side. So lengthening through your hamstrings. Back stays long, squeeze your glutes. Doing good. Two more each side. Just kind of going at your own pace. And last one. And let's do a little squat to a quadricep stretch. Other side. So alternating, holding for about three to four seconds and then back to your squat. Good. Let's do one more each. Last one. And wide stance, reaching your arms up, tilting up and over to your left side. Return back center and other side. Good. To your first side and back up and up and over. Let's do two more each. Last one. Good. Lastly, roll down. Place your feet hip distance apart. Nod your chin. Roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Pause at the bottom for a couple of seconds. And now roll it back up. Articulating through your spine. Roll your shoulders back. Let's do it again. Nod your chin, rounding it forward. We do have some inchworms today. Take a couple of seconds to pause. And now roll it back up. Roll your shoulders back. Let's do one more here. Nod your chin, rounding it forward. Pause at the bottom. And now roll it back up. And roll your shoulders back. Okay, go ahead and come to the front edge of your mat. Now, we're gonna do inchworm single leg. Now, you're gonna balance on your left leg here. Keep your hips square, hinge it forward. Walk it all the way out to a full plank position. Keep your right leg up. Now, touch your toe down and lift. Right leg, down and up. Down and lift, two more. Last one, find your balance, walk your hands back. Leg stays up and now squeeze your glutes. Core, core, core at the top. Let's do it again, hinging it forward. Walk it out to your plank, right leg stays lifted. Now lower and lift, lower and lift. Down and up, two more, down, up, down and up. Walking your hands back. And now stand it back up, back stays long, squeeze your glutes. One more time, hinging it forward. Walk it out to your plank. Hold it here, now down and up, lower, and lift, lower, and lift, two more. Last one, walk your hands back, A little bend to your knee, stand it back up, find your balance, find your balance, reach your right leg back, clasp your hands together, wood chopper. Down to the right, power, power. Obliques, use your exhale, staying low through your legs. 10. Six, four, three, two, one. Hold and pulse. Arms are low. Good. Weight stays even through both legs. Doing good here. Four, three, two, one. Center out, hands back behind your head. Up and over, tilt, over and up. 
Again, staying low through your legs. Beautiful, keep it up. Think elbow to knee. If that range of motion hurts your back at all, decrease. Or you can always bring your hands to the front of your chest. Three more each. Good. Two. Last one. Jack squats. So you're gonna go down and down, up and up, down, down, cross, cross. Now start to speed it up. Don't worry about the tempo of the music. Good. Stay low. Down. Pull. Pull. Ten seconds left. Then we'll do the other side for your inchworms. Five. Three. Two. One. And rest. Good. Walk it off. Other side. Balance on your right leg. Woo. Tall posture. Here we go. Small bend to your right knee. Walk it out to your plank. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. You got it. Two more. Last one. Walk it back. Find that deadlift position. Squeeze your glutes, abs. Here we go. Hinging it forward. You can always do this with both feet down. That's, of course, an option. Down and up. Two more. Last one. Walking it back. Ooh, right leg is, bend, is burning. Last one. Hinging it forward. And lower and lift. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Walk it back. Find your balance, find it. Now set your left leg back, wood chops. Go. Power, power. Eye gaze can stay along with your head. So body weight, core, 10, eight, four, three, two, one. Center it out, up and over. Woo, last set of this. Then we have your jack squats to the knee cross. Starting out strong with a little bit of cardio. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Jack it down, down, across, across. Options here. Stepping out to the side for your jack squat. Light on your toes. Can you speed it up? Go. Whew. Ooh. Pull, pull. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Center it out. Forward crunches. Forward. So you're getting that rounded spine, C shaped curve. And again, if you want to slow it down to get a little bit more control, that's okay too. Active flexion forward, tucking under through your pelvis. 10, eight, five, three, two, one. Nicely done. Grab a quick drink of water. Woo. All right, let's move on down to our mat. So this is a sneaky core exercise. Place your left foot forward, it's to a diagonal. You're gonna lunge it forward, or out to a diagonal. Try not to set your hands down throughout this process until they have to come down, meaning you're gonna press it back, hands don't touch until here, extend your leg to the back. Lift off, 
Find your lunge. Back, extend, up, and lunge. I'll show you a side view. So, we are targeting deep transverse abdominals here to maintain balance on your right knee. Try to make it as smooth as possible. Your torso is nice and tight. Now we're gonna stay here for about another 10 seconds, and then we're gonna add pulses. Five, four, three, two, hold it here. Lower and lift, lower and lift. So you're crossing out to the side, and up to the back, and up. Out and up, L lower and up. Glutes, they are a part of your core system. 10 seconds. You're gonna feel us on fire on your right glute, your stabilizing side. Three, two, one. Lower down to your forearms. Let's find our first plank. Hold it here. Forearm plank, head stays in line with your spine. Squeeze your glutes. You can always scale down to your knees. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Sink it back to a child's pose real quick. And now slowly roll it back up. Let's do the other side. Right foot out to your diagonal. Lunge, find your balance. Core, ooh, see I lost it too. And extend. So obviously I'm stronger on my other side. That's also muscle memory too, of your body getting into this motion. It does get easier. Good. Going at your own pace. This is definitely one that is hard to talk and do at the same time. Coordination. A lot of great balance and core exercises come from coordinated exercises like this. Now we have 10 seconds left. Doing great. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower and lift. So cross it back and up, out to the side and up. So you're trying to get minimal movement through your torso. And this is coming strictly from your hip joint down. Shoulders stay over your hands. Keep it up 10 seconds. Then we go into another plank hold. Three. Two and one, send it long. Here we go. We're already here. Squeeze your glutes long through your spine. No heads in the doggy bowl. Lift it up. One long line. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a quick child's pose. We're gonna come up to our high plank position for our pike to plank. Here we go. Pike your hips up and then back down to your high plank. Pike and lower, squeeze your glutes. So think of a downward facing dog. You can go a little bit into extension, really lengthening through your shoulders, your arms and your lats. 10 seconds, gang. Three, two, one. Let's find our side plank onto your left side. Feet are staggered or down to your knees. Let's thread our needles. 
So thread and lengthen back up. Again, another option. You can lower down to your bottom knee, that's okay. Ten seconds, and we'll switch. Three, two, one, switch route to the other side. And lift, here we go. Now if you want to add more challenge, you can try stacking your feet on top of one another. So again, that's gonna add a little bit more challenge, taking away some stability. Good, 10 seconds. Hips stay square. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest it down onto all fours. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees to a low hover, low hover. We're just holding here. And if you need a little break, you can always set your knees down. That's okay. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one, and rest. Good. Go ahead and lie down onto your back. I'm just going to change the camera angle real quick. Okay. Down onto your back. Tuck ups. Now, you're going to tuck up fast. Find your hold at the top. Slowly come back down to your starting position. Tuck it up fast. Pause for a second. Slow, slow, slow to roll it back down. Keep going. Now, if you want to take your shoes off for this, that's okay. And key thing here is, again, finding your balance at the top and then roll it down. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet are flat down, hands back behind your head, flex it forward, up and down, up and down. So we have a little bit more targeted abs here. We stay here for 10 more seconds, gang. Five, three, two, one. Let's give you some hip rolls. Think mat Pilates, arms down by your sides. Peel your pelvis off one vertebrae at a time. Hold it at the top. Now roll it back down through your imprint and back to your neutral. Again, peeling your pelvis off. Squeeze your glutes. Roll it back down. And again, peeling off. Relaxing through your shoulders, head and neck. Roll it back down. Good. Peeling off. Roll it down. We're gonna add marching this time. Peel it off. Hold it here. Reach your right leg up and down and left and down. Maintaining stability through your pelvis. Legs stay bent to a 90 degree angle as you lift. Glutes and hammies. You should feel your shoulder blades flush against your mat. Four more each side. Three, two, last one, nicely done. Set your hips down, send your legs long right into our Pilates roll up, hinging it forward, peeling off, reaching over your toes, roll it back down one vertebrae at a time through your imprint and back down. Relaxing through your legs, especially your quads, as you come up and roll back down. Smooth transitions. Options here, you can do a half roll back, 
or a half flexion forward, so more of a crunch position. Now we're gonna stay here for another 20 seconds. And then we're gonna roll like a ball. Finish out one more, come all the way down and all the way back up. Good, come to the front edge of your mat, rolling like a ball, hands come to the outside of your ankles. We roll it away. Find your balance at the top. Roll it away. Good, lengthening through your spine at the top and then rounding to roll back. Finish out one more. We're gonna go right into open leg rocker. Pause at the top. Bring your feet to the height of your knees. Open hip distance apart. Open leg rocker, same motion. And then balance at the top. Key thing here is keeping your feet in line with your knees. It's all about the control. Just lightly holding onto the outside of your ankles. Almost there, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll it back down. Guess what, gang? We have hundreds. We're gonna do it to the pulsing of the tempo. Find your imprint, small of the back, close to your mat. Legs go up to your tabletop. Legs can stay bent or straight. Here we go. Pulsing to the music. So double time. Here's 20. Inhale and exhale. Keep it up. Little pulses. And again, you can always bend your legs, maintaining your flexion. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your upper body, keep your legs up. Arms go out to a T position, palms the hands facing up, waist whittler, tilting from side to side. Shoulder blades stay flush against your mat. So this is a great one for your spine too. You're controlling this pendulum swing with your abdominal muscles. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Whoo, all right, let's find our high plank position. We have some mountain climbers. So either high plank, or you can always lower down to your forearms. Here we go. Slowly climbing the mountain. Shoulders over your hands. Now cross your body, knee to elbow, across, pull. Now wide, think more froggy. Four, three, two, and one. Good, lower down to the mat, separate your legs a little bit wider than your mat. Pressing up to extension, draw your shoulders down and lower back down. Lifting up and lower. Lifting up and lower. So getting nice extension. Two more. Squeeze your glutes. Last one. And now let's press all the way up to your full swan dive. Squeezing your glutes, stretching through your abs. I gaze forward and I'll go ahead and roll all the way back down. Let's do a little cat cow onto all fours, rounding your mid back up toward the ceiling and extend, hollowing out your belly to round and extend. Three more. 
and extend. Last two. And now last one. And extend. Nicely done. Bring yourself back up to your feet. Just dead hang over your legs. And now roll it up one vertebrae at a time. How does the last to return? Roll your shoulders back. You made it. You are done with core conditioning. Thank you so much for joining class today, gang. We'll see you next time.